Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Fortmaster, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles 4. Uh, so, uh, we're going to continue Chapter 17 and see <laughs> what other t types of hell are waiting for us. Hold them off here, Nicola. Keep the enemy at bay by any means necessary. Yes. Oh, they're in the ship, okay. Let's go. Yes, sir. Forseti! Sir? It's nothing. Wait, are we going to be fighting inside the ship now or something? Didn't expect him to come in person. He's here to take Angie. We can't let that happen. After him! Hold the fort. Any means necessary. Now we're able to Everyone? fight her. You don't remember, there were two of them! Lord Belgar. Yes. Any means necessary. Oh, okay. We're fighting in the engine room. <laughs> Battle aboard the cruiser. We need to catch up to Forsetti before it's too late. Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, he's trying to get Andy in the restricted area. The enemy's already in the engine room, so it's too dangerous to go on from the front. Um, take the star wave and catch their flanks from the side. Try to look at the path, and then you need to use the air ducts. Your sickness uh, can't succeed without you. Be careful, okay? Uh huh. Victory. Claude reaches the target, so we just need to get Claude there. Oh, only six, okay. What is okay? Uh, no. Nico. Kai, sure, we'll put Kai here. Oh, no. Eh, Kylie. My turn. I hope the ceilings are <laughs> high enough. You better keep up. I'll do my best. Um, <laughs> sure. Let's go. Come on, Claude. Let's go stop Borsetti. Uh, hi. So, this is, uh, me in the future. I just tried to do this boss, what was it, like three times, and I, uh, failed. So, I'm gonna be following a bit of a guide for this, so let's get this started, shall we? Okay, first, uh, we need to get, send our scout down, which will be Nico. Do my best. She's going to get immediately spotted by the boss. Keep on. Ah, okay, need to, come on. Ow. You take, need to take care of you. Thank you. We can't lose here. Not after getting so far. So this is why. Okay, and we need to run around. Trick her into not looking. Now that she's facing the opposite direction, we have Zavia. Run up, right behind her, and just shoot her in the face, in the back of the head, repeatedly. Lucky yes. Your face. No, your face. Uh, uh, I failed. I know you're going to be back, so I'm not going to celebrate. Yes, Lord Belgar. I shall return to you. For more of my medicine. Okay, and the action. Next, uh, we have, uh, what is it? Claude, run. Commencing attack. We're sitting ducks. There has to be cover somewhere. Hey, Claude, what about those steam valves? If we open them. Okay. Oh, I, I thought those hurt you. Yeah, steam, uh, steam exhaust. Exhaust pipes around the engine room shoot out steam. Uh, you can avoid detection by hiding. Oh, okay. So, excellent. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Just a little more. You can do this. Enemy spot. Let's take him out. Incoming! There they are. Fire team, 
report. He's gotta head this way. Gotta shoot this guy in the head. Gotcha. Ugh. Oh great. Go. Now you're dead. Commencing counter attack. Follow my lead. Oh, okay. Yeah, and there, and then we have then just to make sure he's. There we go. It's a little bit in front. Gotcha. There we go. One less thing to worry about. And he had a command point. Yes. All right. Nice. Keep up the good work. And then run over here. Enemy spot. Let's take him out. Through the vents. Shit! There goes our trench. There we go. Sorry, I pushed. What was it? Alt, and it makes you move slow. All true. Please report your status. Er. Okay. Um, apparently, I didn't know this, if you use a command on somebody, it refills their, um, action points. Or their movement points. Let's go, everyone! Yeah, well, cool, okay, yeah. Shows what I know. There they are! Just late in the game, literally. Come on. We need you to handle the situation, Let's take him out. There they are! You're being targeted! Running, no running. You. Come on, Claude, don't die on me now. Okay, yes, okay, whew. Um, okay, yeah, so as you can tell, this this strategy kind of involves a lot of running. Hopefully this just goes down to here. Okay. okay, yeah, so it is what I thought. So run this way, down the stairs, and then just right here to where the... <laughs> Commencing uh, attack. Run! Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Heal and run. Okay. Down you go. Down you go. Commencing counter attack. Follow my lead. Yay! Okay, I'm not going to even show any of the failed attempts because that was just a lot of rep rep repeated nonsense. Forseti wins. <sighs> this one. <way. laughs> come on. Yeah, let's hurry. <sighs> oh, that was evil. Your performance in the previous battle was exemplary. Yay. We don't have time for this. Combat boots. Yay. I'd rather not spill more blood than is necessary. Surrender at once. You first. We're engineers. The engine rooms are hard and home. Not one of us is coward enough to give it up that easy, I tell you what! Oh no, now they're gonna die. If you wish to die, then I shall oblige. Alrighty, boys and girls. Let's show these Imperial Bang. bastards what it means to be a Federation engineer! Aye, aye! Oh, okay, really? Those two are just gonna be, like, with their fists? I'm getting so close. I can almost see her. Ugh. Oh no! They got one of us! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Somebody actually hit him! Wow, I never noticed how big his pants were. Okay, yeah, bat 
Mom, bad place and time. Wake up! <clears throat> Calm down, Missy. Quit your fussing. It just grazed my leg. <laughs> and if it to both of them, it has in fact punctured an artery. Sorry. We tried to fight him off, but one got away. Went to the restricted area. Don't worry about me. Go after him. <sighs> Let's go, Claude. What, you don't have any Ragnade on you? <laughs> that seems to fix everything. <laughs> Angie, I came back for you, Angelica. <laughs> Just like I promised. Oh, jeez, you are one creepy. I'm sorry I took so long. <sighs> and for what they've done to you. But everything's going to be all right. I'll get you out. Forsetti! <sighs> Step away from the reactor. Claude, Riley, and look. My little sister. Shut up! You are Forsetti, an Imperial officer. And I am Kai Shulin, proud soldier of the Federation. I have no brother. Is that so? Well, fine by me. I honestly don't care about anything. Not anymore. But you... Claude, I never thought you'd knowingly send good people to die. Mm hmm Least of all, your best friend. You knew it was Raz? I heard it all over the radio. And now, on your orders, this innocent girl is next. Make me sick. You're one to talk, buddy. <laughs> a Valkyrian power supply and a living bomb. How many children do you think were sacrificed to develop this technology in the first place? And if that wasn't enough, you're about to murder countless more. You're right about one thing. This tech should never have seen the light of day. Using human lives as tools, as a means to an end. Only tragedy can come of it. But Angie made a choice to enter that reactor. She saw people's hearts being twisted by fear and decided to do something about it. She's ending the war. Yeah. She chose this, did she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, that animation does not oh, work. Oh, Riley, you're as deranged as anyone in this godforsaken war. Angie would never throw her life away. We made a promise. She said she'd be waiting for me. Mm -hmm. That's why I vowed to save her. Flashback time. The only one here who's sick and twisted is you! Angie and Raz gave their lives for the sake of others. They knew that peace is the only cure. But you? Everyone's just a pawn in your selfish little game. All you do is spread the disease! Let's notice, is that a. Is his cane a sword? How can you say that? Everything I've done is for Angie. And then again, there is the old adage, the, like, what is it, the sacrifice the few for the many, or I can't, actually, I'm having a complete brain fart, I can't remember what it is. You're sacrificing how many lives for the sake of one little girl? <laughs> for all the Valkyria sacrificed by the Federation! Tell me, how many lives have you taken to save theirs? Ser yeah, again, it's my point. And, my, and from what I've seen in this series, are the peculiar are, are the Valkyria really worth it? I mean, at this point, I think the Darksons are the one that, ones that are getting screwed over in this deal a lot more. The elderly, the sick, and yes, even the children. 
How many of them have you killed for a few girls? Why would I ever bother keeping count? Yeah, <laughs> see, you just proved your point with that. <laughs> I knew it. You are not doing this for Angie at all. You betrayed your country. You abandoned your family. After everything you've done, she won't even know you. Do you really think Angie will be happy to see you? That she'll want to take your blood-stained hand? What do you mean? Of course she will. I came all this way to save her. I swore I would. And soon, that promise will be fulfilled. You know, all of you could just shoot him right in the face right now. And it would end this entire conversation. Not another inch! Stay away from Angie or I'll shoot! Please! Angie... Please! Sorry for the wait. I'll get you out of here. So you're gonna open the door on a running reactor. How's that gonna work? <laughs> and all it did was break the glass. <gasps> you shot me. Your own brother. Didn't you hear what she said before? <laughs> to this this madness the guy i knew wasn't he wasn't consumed by madness i think would be the right word the one you've used several times madness if so we're all mad here you sold out your own allies and watched as they sank. <coughs> and now, you're pointing a gun at your own flesh and blood. Who is the murderer here? Who's the traitor? Neither side is innocent, least of all yours. Where is everybody else in this conversation? <laughs> Tell us why. Why are you so obsessed with saving Angie? Don't you see? This is our sin. We have to atone for it. Okay. Valkyria hunted. The United States of Vinland has launched numerous Valkyria hunts across Europa. They find girls with Valkyrian potential and take them from their homes, if not by bribery or blackmail. Then by force, the number of children abducted in these hunts goes well into the triple digits. So, a hundred? Angelica Farnaby is just one victim out of many. Over a hundred? At that point, it's just plain kidnapping. How could the Federation allow this? Government or military, everyone has a price. Vinland gave the Federation ample incentive. You mean they shared their new tech? <laughs> Quick on the uptake as ever. Ragnite implosion has sparked a technological revolution. And you, Riley, made this massive enterprise possible. <laughs> During training, well, before you ever set foot on the battlefield, I was chosen for a top-secret mission. Okay. I was to escort the Valkyria from Vinland to Europa. Horrific experimentation had left these girls physically and mentally scarred. 
Some committed suicide en route. So when we reached shore, I leaked our whereabouts to the Empire. In the chaos that ensued, I helped the girls escape. At least, I tried. The Imperial forces were promptly routed. The Federation was well prepared, even for high treason. I was shot, and the army took the girls back. Only one was able to avoid detection. Her name was Angelica. I told her to run, but she chose to stay by my side. Mm -hmm. As I lay bleeding out on the ground, she tended to my wound. She smiled and said she had no home to return to anyway. Before I could stop her, she turned herself in. All to give me a chance to escape. To let me live. Had I been caught, I would have been shot on sight. Hmm. Angie. Thus, I made a vow. I swore I'd save her. And that together, we'd go home. Well, it seems unlike you, she's gone through some character development of her own. Not to the Federation, nor the Empire, nor Vinland. Somewhere we could live in peace. <laughs> I know full well the weight of my sins. But I wanted to atone, to protect her. In this rotting world, she alone was left untainted. A heavenly light in the bowels of hell. Okay, he's just gone full emo on us now. If it wasn't for her, if not for her, then what were we fighting for? I have to protect her. I promised. Claude, please. Hmm. Oh, wow, they actually left blood. Kai. <laughs> oh, um, do you guys remember the fact the ship's going to blow up and we have to get out of here as quickly as possible? Riley, let's go. Yeah, see, he does. Well, Forsetti's dead, finally. <clears throat> no enemies detected in the Centurion's vicinity. We've received word that the escape route is ready. I see. Good work. Oh, I guess the I guess it hasn't been primed yet. It's hell out there. We'll finish it. We can bring an end to it all. Mm-hmm. It's going to be kind of like if they combine Germany, Russia, and Japan in all one. <laughs> Marie, put me on the intercom. Understood. This is the bridge. We will now proceed to the final phase of the operation. Run! All crew members are to disembark from the ship immediately. I repeat, all crew must immediately disembark. I guess this is goodbye to the Centurion. Come on, Luv. Yeah. Brian, can I ask you to make one last sweep for stragglers? Of course. I'll do my duty and leave you to yours. Wherever Raz is, I'm sure he's watching you. <laughs> yeah. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. Everyone we've lost is here with you now. Our hopes. Our dreams. <laughs> Thanks. I can do this. Click. <laughs> Riley, you should get going too. 
I know what you're thinking, Claude. But I'm staying here with you. <laughs> There's no need for you to go down with the ship. This is something I have to do alone. We've been over this. It's my burden to bear as much as yours. But... <laughs> Please, Claude. Just let me stay with Angie. Till the end. All right. Together till the end. We need a second key now. Oh, yeah, okay, has it. Oh great, the lever's stuck! <laughs> what is that? It's an air ring! Attention! The Empire has agreed to a ceasefire. All units in combat are to immediately disengage. <laughs> I repeat, the Imperial Alliance and the Atlantic Federation have suspended hostilities. All units Cease fire and disengage. Wow, okay, that was uh, that was good timing. Fire? You think it's true? No. Why now? After all we've done. We could win. Right here and now. Defeat the Empire! Destroy them all! Yeah, this timing really sucks. Please, save Angie. Clunk! Well, I mean, at least good for you for staying out of a war zone. End the war. Protect our home. I'm sorry, Raz. I'm sorry. Everyone. I can't do it. I won't. Well, that is certainly timing for you. Sorry, Riley. I guess I haven't changed after all. Claude. But still, I don't regret this decision. I don't know how long the ceasefire will last, but both sides have made themselves clear. Everyone wants to stop fighting. That's what counts. Our objective was never to destroy the Empire, let alone take revenge. It was to end the war. That's all that matters. Peace is a beautiful thing. But it's fragile. And once it's broken, it can never be made whole again. And Raz will understand. I'm sure he's wearing up a storm over it now. But he'll come around. He always does. Believe me, you made the right choice. Thank you, Riley. Claude, do it. Oh, wow, okay. Ah, I'm blind! Ah! Oh, okay, Minerva. she's pointing her gun. What are you waiting for? Activate the bomb! If you were listening in, then you already know I won't. I don't understand. I don't want to understand! 
What did you say when you sent those soldiers off to die? Someone has to do it. And if we don't, innocent people will die. You promised we'd end the war together. You vowed to carry the weight of those who fell in battle. That you'd fight for them until the very end. Mm -hmm. Was that all a lie? Just hot air and empty words? I wasn't lying. Then what changed? Nothing The ceasefire, changed. that's what Listen changed. I've no time for the lies of a coward. Step aside! No! Okay, she's probably... Holding the gun like that, she's probably just gonna get, like, one good shot off before it goes flying and hits her in the head. You stay out of this! <laughs> Crystal is dead. She fought and died for our just cause to defeat the Empire! Minerva, we're the only ones fighting now. We have to live with what happens next. And what? What about the ones who didn't survive? Am I supposed to forget them? Forget their sacrifice? Of course not. But this isn't about the past or the present. We're fighting for the future. You're trying to weasel out of the guilt, is that it? All you want is to wash your hands of... of genocide. Uh, yes. That's right. Once that lever is pulled, it's no longer war. It's genocide. Call it whatever you want. We have to destroy the Empire. Now, this is the timing where another alarm goes off. Ceasefire is off, everybody. <laughs> they have to pay for the lives they've ruined. The war will never truly end until they do. I feel really bad. I'm trying to make jokes about this, but yeah. Hmm. It's over already, Minerva. Thanks to Crystal and Raz and so many other heroic souls. Even if it's short-lived, we'll finally have peace again. Do you want more sacrifices? If so, what was the point of the ones we've already made? This beautiful city will be reduced to a barren wasteland. Millions of lives, young and old, gone. Dust on the wind. Is that what our loved ones gave their lives for? More death? <laughs> Clunk. <laughs> Neither of us joined this war to kill people. And then here just one was like, oh, I did! been fighting to save lives, to make our dreams of world peace a reality. Let's go back to a life worth living. God. Hey! The final choice. Chapter 18. Devotion. Okay, so, um, seems there's more to this story, um, and I have no idea for how long I've been recording for, and I have no mo I have no idea how long the actual video is going to be after I basically edit out all of the failures. Um, yeah, so this might be a shorter episode, it might not be, but it seems it's not the last as I thought it was going to be. So, anyway, I hope you guys liked, if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.